being tutoring, for 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 being tutoring, tutor me now, dot net. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, ladies and gentlemen, and today our discussion is going to be about adding integers. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start this lesson off with a question. Oh, yeah. What a question. Let's go ahead and fan out here. Yeah, can we fan out? All right. There it is. Uh, the question is, ladies and gentlemen, what country is Los Angeles in? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A geography question in math. I know, right? Yeah. Los Angeles. Great, ladies and gentlemen. You know the answer. That answer is the USA, United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. And this is going to help us in our lesson for the day. Why is that, ladies and gentlemen? Why is LA in the US going to be helpful? Because we're going to be using these rules here. Like signs add, unlike signs subtract when you're dealing with integers. So anytime you're trying to combine any like terms when you're dealing with your integers, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, in algebra and everything else, when you're dealing with mathematics problems and you have a positive and a negative negative number, like signs add, unlike signs subtract, and we'll keep in mind the following, you're going to always keep the sign of the largest number. Mm -hmm. So LA is in the US, like signs add, unlike signs subtract, and you're going to always keep the sign of the largest number, the largest digit, the largest value that you have there. LA in the US. Let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you may see me attack this concept a little differently from other people because I like to keep the order of operations, ladies and gentlemen, at the forefront of the problems that we do here. All right, the order of operations. So, you may have checked out our video, Pim Doss is Wrong. Got a lot of feedback about that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see you guys out there. Well, we're going to be keeping that in the forefront, the order of operations as we attack this. And one thing you'll need to know in order to utilize the strategy that I'm going to show you here is the integer operations for multiplication and division. Well, keep in mind that a positive times a positive will be a positive result. A negative times a negative is a positive result. A positive times a negative is a negative. And a negative times a positive is a negative. We'll keep that in mind. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you can summarize that like this. An odd number of negative signs when you're multiplying and dividing is always negative. It will always give you a negative result. Anytime you have an even number of negative signs, like here where I have a negative times a negative, that answer will always be a positive result. So if you have a string of numbers, ladies and gentlemen, that you're multiplying and they have their positive and negative signs working, you can just count the number of negative signs to determine the sign of the answer. So that is something that I utilize all the time. All right. So I'm just sharing that with you guys. All right. So that's going to be something that we'll use also in this video. All right, let's move ahead, right? You're waiting on example one. Here it comes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. In number one, I have the following question. I have negative four plus nine. Negative four plus nine, ladies and gentlemen. So as I attack this problem here, the first thing I want to determine is the signs of the term. Notice that my negative is in front of the four, so therefore that's a negative four. The sign in front of the number nine is positive. That's a plus sign, yes, but it's also a positive sign. So that means that the second term, that nine, is positive. So as far as my like signs add and unlike signs strategy goes, these are different signs, right? So they're unlike, they're not the same. So remember, like signs add, unlike signs subtract, so therefore we will need to subtract. And I know that my answer will be positive because I always keep the sign of the biggest number. So since the nine is positive, my answer will be positive. And since the signs are different, we'll subtract. So nine minus four is just five. All right. So there's my answer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let's recap over that. So what happened? I noticed that I had a negative four and a positive nine. Since the signs are different, we subtract. Remember, unlike signs subtract. So I always keep the sign of the biggest number. So my largest number is nine and it's positive. So my answer must be positive. Then we subtract nine minus four to get five. That's right. So even though this topic is adding integers, ladies and gentlemen, depending on your signs, you may have to subtract. Therefore, no longer will you rely on the title of the problem to determine whether you need to add or subtract. You'll be determining what operation you do based on the signs, ladies and gentlemen. So focus on the signs. All right, good stuff. Let's continue. 
In our next problem, problem number two, I have nine plus negative three. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, I said that we'll be using those multiplication rules in order to simplify the problem, in order to answer our problem here. So the first thing I wanna do is, remember in the order of operations, we need to attack the parentheses. And inside of our parentheses, we just have the value negative three. So there's nothing to do inside of here. However, anytime you have a set of parentheses, what's going on outside of it does matter. So we can treat this as positive one times negative three. So I'm gonna combine the signs, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be the bottom line here. Any Anytime I have two signs right next to one another, you can use that table at the beginning of the lesson to determine what that sign will combine into. So a positive times a negative will give me a negative result. So I'll change this into nine minus three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the subtraction has not changed whatsoever. So nine minus three is what? Exactly, it's six. So that's my answer. One thing I like to stress to students, ladies and gentlemen, is that don't forget what you already know. This is still nine minus three. Yes, you can break it down to a positive nine and a negative three, but it's not necessary. All you need to keep in mind is that here you have unlike signs, so therefore you're still gonna subtract. So nine minus three is six. Notice that we kept a sign of the largest number, which is nine, and that's how we got our result. All right, ladies and gentlemen, amen, amen. Let's keep it moving. Problem number three, I have negative three plus seven. So are these like signs or unlike signs? Let's figure it out. We have a negative three because the sign is negative in front of the three and we have a positive in front of the seven, so that's a positive seven. So notice that these signs are not the same. So once again, anytime the signs are different, you will subtract, unlike signs subtract. We always keep the sign of the biggest number, so my answer will be positive, and seven minus three is four, ladies and gentlemen. So my answer here is four, that's it. Unlike signs subtract, ladies and gentlemen, like signs add, always keep the sign of the biggest number. Let's keep going. In problem number four, we have negative 14 plus negative seven. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, I prefer to use the order of operations and combine these signs using multiplication before addition or subtraction, and the result of a positive times a negative is you got it, it's a negative. So I'm gonna rewrite this as negative 14 minus seven. So this positive times the negative became a negative, ladies and gentlemen. So now I can analyze this, and a negative 14 and a negative seven, what operation will they do, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, they're going to add. Now they're adding because the signs are the same. This is a negative 14 and now this is a negative seven. Remember, like signs add, we always keep the sign of the biggest number. The biggest number here is 14, so I know that my answer will be negative. So I'm gonna write down my negative sign. It's always a good idea, it's very wise to write your sign first. Remember, we write in English from left to right, ladies and gentlemen, so write down that sign first. It will help you remember it when it comes time to do a quiz or test or just making sure that you're increasing your accuracy here. So write your answer from left to right always and we'll start with a sign. Why? Because the sign is the first thing you see when reading it from left to right. So we always will keep the sign of the biggest number. Out of 14 and 7, the 14 is the biggest number so therefore my answer has to be negative. From there remember we said that like signs add so we'll need to add the 14 and the 7. 14 plus 7 is 21 therefore my answer is is negative 21 and that's it done and done got a red box around my answer you know how I roll all right let's move on ladies and gentlemen let's keep going here ladies and gentlemen in problem number six what do I have I have 17 plus 7 ladies and gentlemen don't throw away what you already know you don't have to necessarily break this down into oh this is a positive 17 oh this is a positive 7 hey so therefore I need to add well that's true but this is the same 17 plus 7 you knew before you got here so once again don't throw away what you already know if you are recognizing the problem as what it is go with that ladies and gentlemen don't throw away the good math concepts you have already mastered, okay? So 17 plus seven is just that, ladies and gentlemen. It's 24, and that's it. All right, 24, got a box around the answer, ladies and gentlemen. 17 plus seven. So once again, you don't have to go through the long steps of analyzing that like signs add, and we'll keep the sign of the positive answer. Hey, 
It's 17 plus 7. Just add the numbers together, you get 24. Let's move on to the next one. All right, in problem number seven, ladies and gentlemen, notice that we have negative seven plus negative 13. So what we'll do here is we're going to combine, ladies and gentlemen, the positive and negative. That gives me a negative here. So I have negative seven minus 13. Once again, I have like signs here, and like signs will add, so therefore my answer will be negative because I'm keeping the sign of the largest digit, which is 13, so I know that my answer has to be negative, and we'll add the numbers together. 7 and 13 will give me 20. So my answer here is negative 20 for problem number 7. All right, great. Moving on. We have problem number eight. In problem number eight, I have negative 11 plus four. Notice that we have unlike signs. The signs are different. We remember that unlike signs subtract. We will always keep the sign of the biggest number, and my biggest number out of 11 and four is 11. Therefore, the answer is negative. And because the signs are different, we'll need to do what? Exactly, we'll need to subtract. So 11 minus four is seven, so the answer is negative seven, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. All right, let's keep it moving, ladies and gentlemen. We got more problems to do. Problem number nine, I have negative 24 plus 33. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's decide what the answer is as far as the sign is concerned. The answer will be what? Positive, exactly, why? Because the largest number is positive, so therefore I have a positive result. Also, what operation needs to be done? Exactly. We need to subtract because I have a negative and a positive. Unlike signs will subtract. So I will have a positive answer. I will subtract and my answer here, ladies and gentlemen, will be nine because 33 minus 24 is nine. I got a box red around my answer, ladies and gentlemen. And for the last problem, we have negative five plus 18. Unlike signs subtract, you'll need to subtract, ladies and gentlemen, because the signs are different. We're going to keep the sign of the largest number, which is 18, so the answer will be positive. So 18 minus 5 is 13, ladies and gentlemen, and that will do it for today's problems about adding integers, ladies and gentlemen. So even though it says addition in the middle here, notice that a lot of times we had to subtract because of the unlike signs. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, this is Mr. Witt saying peace. All right, don't forget to like our page on Facebook as well as send in your intro and outros to fbt at tutormemath.net. Bye-bye. Michael Jackson bad. Yeah, this is it. A few months ago, I was about to call it quits until I came across personalized math tutoring. FBT, the number one solution.